morning, good morning, hold the wire. Trying to stop it, I can't. one out kids because it's gone there it is ah my pause button sorry hi my name is jenna if you hadn't figured that out yet and this is 1111 with jenna if you hadn't figured that out yet i am here seven days seven nights 14 times a week if you're watching it here on facebook live we're live if you're watching it later on facebook thank you and if you're watching it on youtube Thank you very much. There are over 1,111 shows here. Hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, and share and share a like. Today is Tuesday. Last night was really sweet. Thank you all for being there on the meditation. I felt good afterwards, and I'm excited today because we're going to be making some food. I started mine off a little different. I'm, I might have this for tomorrow night, but I... I buy a lot of cauliflower at a time, like three or four at a time. And I make cauliflower steaks and I make cauliflower pizza and I make cauliflower rice and cauliflower mashed potatoes and good old just cauliflower steamed because I love that so much with a little bit of truffle oil or a little bit of mm, 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 um, truffle butter or garlic and oil. But tomorrow night I was thinking I'll make my cauliflower pizza. I was going to do it today, but I'm going to make exactly what Patty's going to make, but probably a little bit different. So, Patty, who's Patty? Ladies and gentlemen, are you ready for this? I am. Patty Loman in the house, in the kitchen. Ooh. I'm having some technical difficulties here today, as is Patty, it looks like. Where'd she go? Patty, 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 Lone Man. Good morning. I have to get the applause in. Hi there. Hi. Woo! How are Hello, you? Patty Loman. <laughs> How are you? I'm okay. How are you? I'm doing great. I started making my cauliflower pizza, and then I thought, no, I'll just go along with Patty. Well, I started a couple things, too, because I wanted to make sure that everything was done uh, according to plan. I have sauce made, and now I have, I'm putting my cauliflower in the oven. Okay, good. My I'm steak. browning. I'm Love browning it. the bread. Oh, that looks great. Yeah. Cauliflower steaks. I'm kind of a pro at steaks these days. Cauliflower sure. steaks. I remember having my first cauliflower steak at Bistro August in, in New Orleans. And it was unbelievable. Okay, so I have my sauce here. Here is the um, brown bread crumb. I so ha tell me how you browned yours, because I'm about to do that right this second. can't hear you. You can't hear me? No, you need to turn up maybe. Okay, hold on. I can go to value and turn it up to get better. Sounds a little muffled for some reason. Well, I don't know why. It's just, oh. it's intermittent. Well, it's my speaker. Hang on. No, 
turn it back turn it back up again if you don't mind because it sounded and keep just speaking let's just do a little sound check get better there yes okay when i turn it down then you can't hear me okay all right all right well i'm just going to show you the brown breadcrumbs here see that yeah now i would highly Okay, I'm going to ground mine now. Okay. According to the according to the recipe which I followed pretty good, good uh, which I posted on you put your couple tablespoons of olive oil in. Now I used uh, I used we have a great called Heinz, so I used Heinz Italian panko breadcrumbs. I'm making I'm making gluten-free. I made my own Gluten-free okay. breadcrumbs. I put some bread on the radiator last night. <laughs> very, good. very good. So that's what I use. Now you just you gotta watch it. Uh, they will. Yeah, yeah, I seasoned. Oh, this is so exciting. I seasoned my breadcrumbs to be with my own oregano, rosemary, okay. and parsley from my garden. Right. Then you've got all the Italian stuff in there that you need. Okay. That's perfect. Okay. So I have to tell you, though, we did, I made some of this last night to test it. And I ended up, we had tilapia and this as the side dish. Oh my God, to die for, to die for. Now I have never uh, done uh, cauliflower steak. You've never I just, done cauliflower steak before, correct? I've never done it. And look, I just love this look. look at that. You, yeah, oh, that's beautiful. Yeah, definitely keep your microphone up because we're definitely having a little bit of a challenge. Okay. Isn't that beautiful? I love the cauliflower. Okay. I mean, how does that to be? How about Patty? You, you turn off and come back. Hi, John. Okay. Sure. Okay. Goodbye. I'm not sure what's going on, but let's might as well start where we know. Anyway, yeah, I'm a cauliflower girl. My mom, my grandmother used to make this fried cauliflower that was so good. You dip it in egg and an egg wash and then roll it in breadcrumbs and not deep fry it, but go all the way, Patty. Turn all the way off. I hear you. It's weird. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, Patty Loman. And so they were like candy. I'm sure she probably had that too. I'm going to have to ask her. And then my mom always used to steam cauliflower. And so we've, I've had, hey, Patty. Get better? Yes. Did your grandmother make um, little fried cauliflower nuggets? Oh, yeah. Yeah. That's the only way I knew cauliflower was in those little uh, florets, you know. You call it candy. It was I've never made it like this. So this was interesting. Good. Yay, she's coming around to the vegan side of the world. Well, there's cheese in this, so it's not vegan. I know. And then the little florets, this is real nice because um, what I did was I did both. I did the steak and then I did some florets. Uh, that's the color, what it looks like. So, okay. So once you do your breadcrumbs, put them in a bowl on the side. Okay. I was on the phone with New Orleans this morning, or I would have had my cauliflower already roasted and ready to go. How's everybody doing? Who's here? Ra Morocco. Hey, Dave Love. How are you? We're making cauliflower parmesan today i'm getting i'm getting patty over to the other side for a, a day a little cauliflower steak action how are you 
I'm excited. I'm, I'm, I'm chopping up some garlic right now, smashing and chopping as we speak and roasting my oh, breadcrumbs. Ooh, ooh, look at these breadcrumbs. Handmade breadcrumbs with herbs from the garden. You're going to, oh, that's nice. You're going to use the same pan that you brown your breadcrumbs in to make your sauce. I already made my sauce. I just need to heat it up. All right. Well, I'm going to start my because I want to chop some and I'm putting it on. Okay, so whatever you walk away, we can't hear you, my dear. I'm going to start my onions and my garlic now, and I'm going to get those so they're clear, more translucent. Okay. Um, I'll be right back. I made this is the sauce that I made, and I put some in a bowl. I made it a couple of days ago. So good. <laughs> What's everybody making at home? Grab a cauliflower. Let's roll, kids. Low down in the kitchen. Low down. Oh, I can't. Oh, my breadcrumbs. I don't want them to burn. Okay. Breadcrumbs are done. Oh, yeah. oh I'm just going to eat these just like. <laughs> Put them in a bowl now. Okay. You know me in bowls. I have lots of bowls. Breadcrumbs, yellow bowl. It's garlic. Love. I love this minced garlic. It's really, really strong and good. It comes already in a jar. Yeah, my dad and I used to eat that by the spoonful. Yeah. I chopped them up. I'm trying I, to see where this is going. See, I'm just going to even eat. I have a little throat thing going on. So you know what I do? I take some garlic. Take some garlic and put it in the back of my, right here, right back there. What's going on, you guys? What's happening today, Dave? Where are you going? What are you doing? Who are you seeing? Your granddaughter. What a doll. Oh my God. Grandpa. Very cool. Okay, so she's making sauce. I have my um, cauliflower steaks cooking. And there's my alarm for no reason. Oh, because I had it on snooze. Flour from the oven, browned. And that was browned with olive oil, salt, and pepper. Look how nice they turned out. See? And then you put a little Kalamata olive on top of that and just go to town, girlfriend. Well, that's one of your variants. Mm -hmm. I'm sticking um, to the recipe. <laughs> I never stick to recipes. I have to the first time around the block. So I'm putting these on the side now. I cook from here. I look at the recipe and then I go, okay, I got it. Oh, you guys, are these breadcrumbs? They're, they're like, they're dark because it's a gluten-free bread that I used. Tonight, the company Christmas party. Are you guys gonna be all cruising around in the van? So now you have to cook your onions until they become a little translucent, I said already. He's making sauce. Now I'm starting my sauce. Making so sauce. let's see here. Um, okay, I use the same skillet and I'm going to put in some more olive oil and the onion minced garlic. I did that. And then I'm going to add, as soon as this becomes ready, I'm going to add my... I have crushed Italian tomatoes, red pepper flakes, just a few to give it a little woomph. You know, I like woomph. <laughs> I'll be right and back. Keep going, Patty. You're doing great. Dried basil, a pinch of sugar, and a pinch of salt. 
And then it says to let the sauce simmer for about five minutes. So I'm going to go continue making my sauce, okay? So you guys hang in there. Maybe. I use this here, I like this. I get this at Heinen's, this is crushed Italian. We use a lot of uh, this brand. Uh, they've got some wonderful vari variations of tomatoes. So that's what I use. So I'm gonna open this can up. Okay, there goes my timer. So I had already taken out the cauliflower, so that's okay. All right, there's the app. I had to go get my nambe pan from downstairs. Oops. And then Lillian wanted to go from bed to bed, so she's with Nana, Nana. But I had to get my nambe pan. Mm, 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 mm. Everybody doing all right? All two of you, mom and William. I know you start with layering the sauce. So I'm putting some sauce down. You can smell the garlic. Oh, Joni, no baloney. That was funny, right, William? just fine and, uh, so then once you you've made your sauce already so uh and you browned your cauliflower my okay. cauliflower is browning right now as we speak okay well then you're not ready yet and then <laughs> your bread crumbs i was out. i'm just here having fun i am too and your bread crumbs are done already so we're getting there now um what you could do is your is your is your sauce heated up or is it cold? It's um it's been out it's it's was off the pan out of the pan it's a little bit warm it's warm it's temperature more okay. no it's That's warm from hot it's okay. cooling okay. off okay so then what you want to do now I use small version but I use one of these nice ones. I have it already in the bottom of this pan. Can't hear you. I think you're having a mic issue. It's the same that it's always been. Uh, let me go back it a little bit. They say if things don't work, just kick it or something. Anyway, um, I don't know where's my mic anyway. I don't know. You need to we need to get you a little exterior mic. Yeah, I guess I'll have to. But yeah, I, I, I put sauce on the bottom of the pan. Okay, so you've already done that. And um, the next thing you're gonna do as soon as your cauliflower is, you're going to layer it on your sauce, not bury it in it. I like that it was layered on it, okay? And then we'll continue with that. So uh, let me see now. To add the tomato sauce and my spices. Now I have all my spices. I'll be right back. She'll be right back. And tonight, Dr. Andrew Rader, hypnotherapist to the stars, will be here. I don't know why this is so dark. And then um, we'll hang out tonight and talk. And then tomorrow morning, tomorrow morning, maybe we'll walk, maybe. And then tomorrow night, community night, maybe I'll make the pizza, cauliflower pizza. And then Thursday morning, Rachel Waddell, conductor, guest conductor, who will be performing with the Southwest Conducting and performing with the Southwest Michigan Symphony Orchestra on Saturday night, which is what I'm performing, who I'm performing with on Saturday night. And then Thursday night, my friend Lauren Green White's going to be here, and Friday morning, Armando, and Friday night, Display and Share. And Saturday morning, I'll be really nervous. And then I do that gig. 
It's cooking. I can hear it. Hold the wire. Here comes Patty. Okay, so my sauce should be ready any minute. And um, uh, what I did was I buy fresh Parmesan cheese already for me. I didn't have the time to shred all this yesterday. But I also bought uh, fresh mozzarella that's already uh, shredded for me. So I took a couple shortcuts. I did too. I, I got some organic Parmesan and organic mozzarella cheese. And they're already shredded. And then... Um, what we want to do then is um, get our pan. I'm putting mine into a bowl right now. You can probably hear the bowl crackle, crackle. There's a lot of crackle in this room. Learning all these hipster terms, I'm, I'm telling you, if you decide to watch Succession, get a pen, pen and a pad of paper or use your phone and take notes. You'll learn all kinds of very hip, hip lines. This is my new bowl. It's got dogs on it. It's bamboo and it has Parmesan and mozzarella cheese right here, ready to go. Okay, well, you're not... But I love my new bowl. Thank you, Stacy. They're all sitting in little cups. Dogs. Oh, there's a cat, kind of. No, it's a dog. Okay. Now I'm going to put the sauce in. Put the sauce in. Here comes the sauce. Now I'm putting in a nice, oh, I'd say, I like about a good three quarters to an inch of the sauce. Because you get the onions and the garlic. I'll put a little more sauce in mine. Yeah, well, I'm going to use this. Okay. I also do this with polenta. It's fun. Okay, yeah. Roasted polenta. Mm -hmm. We got all the out of there. I'm going to flip my cauliflower. Okay, this is all in real nice now. So now I have my cauliflowers already done. Is your cauliflower done? Pretty close. Pretty gosh darn close. Okay, now I roasted mine on a pot of meat too. Daddy, we can't hear you, honey. What's the darn thing? Kind of. Just go ahead. Okay. I just wanted to show you that on the parchment paper, you can take out your steak as a whole like this and set it on top of your sauce. sauce. I was trying to show you this. Okay. Now, I also made florets. So that you can see that you can see them. And Why don't you lift it back up again? Sorry. Lift up the camera again. Because then we can hear you better. Okay. I made these little florets also. So this is your bowl. Now I'm putting those right in the sauce, like the, the steak. I love that she's calling it a steak. That's what it's called, call out cauliflower. Cauliflower steak. steak. I never heard that before. <laughs> Welcome, okay. Patty. Okay, so now look how nice we're getting there. See this? I'm going to go get mine out of the oven and do the same thing. Okay, and then I'll wait for you. Oh, I hear you. <laughs> <found> an apron. <laughs> this says Hamley Sellers. <laughs> mine says Jamaica. Well, this is some wine apron I found. Mine was handmade for me in Jamaica when I was teaching raw food classes and yoga. That's nice. 
I know I have a ton of them, but they're in storage. I don't know what to say. Storage. Storage. Okay. Okay, so you do you got your cauliflowers? They're already in the soil. All right, let me see your pan. Okay, now we're going to take our breadcrumbs and you're going to sprinkle your breadcrumbs over the cauliflower. Now I made a lot of I tasted this last night and I really like the crunch to the, to the. Can you hear me? Sometimes. I said, I like the brown uh, breadcrumbs and I made a lot of them to put on top of cauliflower. Me too. Hi, April Bruce. Hey, April, I have Gone Girl Bomb and, and CDs and I drove by your house last night and I almost knocked, but let me know today what you would like. So I put some extra breadcrumbs on my, on my cauliflower. We're making cauliflower parmesan, double chefs. So that's done, can you hear me now? Can you hear me now? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Breadcrumbs on top of this cauliflower steaks. Okay, now we're going to do grated parmesan first. Okay. And it's calling for uh, about a um, half a cup, but I like parmesan, so I put a little more. So I'm going to take my. Parmesan. So turn turn this. I'm turning this to Gracie, we're gonna have a lovely brunch today. We're having cauliflower parmesan for brunch. Well, you can the garlic is everywhere, I'll tell you. <laughs> okay, mine are Fabulously covered in Parmesan. Me too. Hello, everybody. If this is your first time here on 1111, welcome. Share the show. Like Hello, it. Everybody. This is Patty Loman right here, not to be missed on Tuesday morning. She's here making food. Let's put on our mozzarella. Okay. Yum. I ordered some mozzarella from Imperfect Foods. Some mozzarella and the Parmesan is from Imperfect Foods and the, the tomatoes are from Imperfect Foods and the cauliflower is from Imperfect Foods. If you are not an Imperfect Foods person and you want to be, let me know, I'll send you a link. You will get $20 off of your first four boxes and it's a pretty great deal. Okay, mozzarella is done. Put on as much as you like, if you like oh, lettuce, okay. or if you want, <laughs> or if you want just a little bit to top it, that's fine too. Yes. Okay, now it says to put your broiler on, okay? And you have to be very careful with this because you want the cheese to bubble and brown a little bit, but not burn. So, next we're going to go to the broiler i'm going to put a little bit of fresh ground pepper on top okay turning on the broiler broiler is on i have the cutest little stove back here okay this is what mine look like i'll just show you pre You see that? Brunch. Okay, I already have one in the oven waiting for it to brown uh, that I started earlier. I'm getting my cup. 
<laughs> this, this oven, these ovens, I'm not, uh, I don't like them because I had a broiler that had a thing on the top of it. And these are Vikings and they don't seem to have a. Yeah, that must kind of suck. It sucks. So I have that's to. Bad. That's I a have to have a, a double Viking oven and stove in your house. Broiler doesn't work right. April, why don't you go buy this house in Burlington? Burlington? No, not Burlington. Where are you? Barrington. April, go by the house in Barrington, please. Dave, love, if you're still here, go by the house that Patty lives in so we can all live there together. Because we could. We'll have a north compound. <laughs> I'll maintain it for you, Dave. It'd be great. <laughs> so yours is in the broiler, under the broiler also, correct? How old is your phone, Patty? I have a Samsung 10, but this is my iPad. This how old is, how old my is your laptop. iPad? My laptop isn't that old. It's um, maybe you're four using, years. Are you using your iPad for this show? What? Are you using your iPad for this show? I always do. I, that's what I get on at night and everything. Do you do your updates on it? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I'm all updated and everything, but I'm going to have to check out the microphone afterwards. Well, right where you are right now, directionally, it's perfect. Because I'm standing right here and I'm speaking right into it. And there's the little camera doohickey right there. And um, it's fine. But the minute I put it down to try to talk, I think it's covering up the microphone. So what I have to do is flip the bottom. Do you have it on a, what's it being held on? An easel. Okay. On an easel. So no washcloths are involved. Oh, no. <laughs> no washcloths. <laughs> no, but if this continues, right, off, I will get a separate mic because I, I don't like this not being able for you to hear me or muffled and all that nonsense. So, but anyway, so. Uh, how are you feeling today? Oh, um, I'm feeling okay. I get flushed a little bit, but other than that, I'm feeling fine. My arm's not even sore. I didn't even have a sore. I didn't even feel it when. You hey, we got to do what we got to do at this point. See, that's what I don't like. You're, 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 you're not being heard right this second, but now I think you are. I said I lost one brother last year and my other brother, who's only in his 50s, was on a ventilator for two weeks a month ago, thought we were going to lose him. It was the most terrifying thing, you know, and well, they both were terrifying. And my nephew, he was on oxygen for a month. Uh, portable, he had to sleep with it at night and stuff like that. So all of a sudden, the non-believers were believer, you know, and um, it was so. Uh, and my daughter works in the hospital. My whole family, there are my grandchildren. They're all vaccinated. You don't have to convince anybody. That's, I mean, it's well, good. No, I had to convince myself because I'm, I'm still, I'm sorry. I went and did it, but. I still have strong feelings in the on the other side. So anyway, that's enough of that. I don't like talking that stuff. So let me go check my stuff is in the broiler. Mine is too. It's probably burned already, but that's okay. Because I have more. I have three more heads of cauliflower. No. I'm happy that I'm I don't like vaccines, but I did these because. I didn't want to be on a ventilator. And after having COVID, I'm still experiencing quite a few long haul events in my life and I don't like it. So if you haven't been vaccinated, take it from me. Having COVID is no fun. I wasn't on a ventilator, but I was in my house for a month and couldn't breathe. And I still have challenges. So I'm glad you're here, Patty. <laughs> me too. <laughs> Me too. 
So anyway, so and I uh, like the sweater. Is it gray or black? I mean, gray, green, black. What no, is my it? grandchildren gave it to me. It's, it's black, black. And it's got all these sparkles in it. See it? It's all fabulous. Christmas colors, red, green, silver, gold. And then it's got these little back sleeves. Green oh, sleeves. wow. Look at that. Woo. She's taken off, guys. Anyway, they're they're fun, you know. So they gave me that for Christmas last year, so I wore it. Oh, I hear a beeper. Oh, I didn't I didn't turn on a beeper. Hold on. Be right back. It smells good. Yum. Kids, this is gorgeous. Gorgeous. Who's coming over for brunch? Looky here, looky here, looky here. You won't hear me now, so hold on. Beautiful, beautiful. Okay, now here's this one. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. I had this together last night, did not cook it. I kept it in the fridge overnight. And it came out great. So, and like I said, we had, I made a small dish of it last night. And um, I used, I used the small pan like I did today. And it was gone. We ate the whole pan for dinner at, with our fish. It's not, it didn't take long to make it. No. Well, they always lie. You know, these things say prep 15 minutes. No, it didn't take 15 minutes. Or you haven't been on the show for 40 minutes yet, and we've made an entree or a side dish. Well, it said 45 minutes total time. So hmm, maybe it's not so bad after all. It just seemed like forever. <laughs> a photo. Hold on. Okay. Oh yeah, me too. Let me get my phone. Let me see here. So pretty. Mine's a little hot. Hot. But I'm gonna put it back in the oven because I want it to just be warm and good and. Well, make sure you turn it off. Turn your oven off, though. It's off, it's off, it's off. Okay, make sure you keep it warm. And that's posted now. I posted it today, this morning, the recipe, the instructions, ingredients. And I think this would make a wonderful side dish for our Christmas Eve when you eat fish and stuff like that, you know. This would be a great side dish for any dinner. Yeah. And you could you could do it at that's a vegetarian. What I made is vegetarian. Then you could make it vegan by making the parmesan and the mozzarella cheese vegan cheese. So there's three ways of looking at it. Yeah. Yeah. And, and if you want it to have gluten free breadcrumbs, you know, the whole bit. Last night, if you wanted to, you could actually take and some hot Italian sausage out of the skin, brown it a little bit, it's and salty. sprinkle it in there too with the cauliflower. Now that I think would be a great full meal dish. So you get your meat, your cheese, your cauliflower sauce, everything. So it's like a pizza without the dough. <laughs> That's why, in the exact same thing, you can make a, a vegan mozzarella cheese um, cauliflower pizza. Yeah. yeah. And you can also do it with goat cheese, which is really good. Goat cheese oh, yeah. and cauliflower, you make yeah. a, a crust out of that. It's fabulous. 
I like goat cheese and I really acquired a taste for the um, gorgonzola. <laughs> I love that. Well, the goat cheese is easily digestible. Yeah. And if you make, if you steam cauliflower and smash that together, either put an egg in or not, you can make actual bread, like a pizza. Oh, okay. A pizza dough. Interesting. I know that oh, you, can, you can smash cauliflower and make it like potatoes and stuff like that. But like I said, we always just used to steam the little florac and um, a little drizzle of butter and a little salt, pepper, and that's how we used to eat it. As oh, pie. you didn't make the, your grandmother didn't show you to do the egg wash with the no, bread in? We never taught me how to make it, but we ate them at my grandma's. We'll make those. Maybe I maybe I'll make those uh, for that Tuesday of Christmas Eve that week. So anyway, that's Patty. One more standing ovation for you right there. Nice, 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 nice. What's the rest of your day like, my friend? What what do you what's your day like today? Say it louder. How do we support the show? <laughs> oh my goodness. Here's the easy way to support the show. Okay. I, have, I have some wonderful ways of supporting my show. Hold on. Can you hear me now? <laughs> yeah, that, that Patty in the kitchen. How do we support the show? We support the show. Generous gifts are greatly appreciated. Absolutely. I have Venmo. I have PayPal. I have a Patreon page. $11.11 .11 a month. If you watch this show three times in a month, that's basically three cups of coffee, $11.11. .11. <laughs> or you can Zelle. I know you like Zelle, Patty. Yeah, I, I like the Zelle now, although the Patreon page probably went through already too. So. Um, but I like Zell, so um, I'm going to Zell you the money for the cream, the cream, the one for, um, <laughs> the one for Lynn and one for me. And also, don't forget, save me one of those Christmas albums because the one I tried to play, I can't play anywhere, so it's not working. Yeah, I don't know what that's, what that's about, but... You well, guys, I'm gonna save let's, it. Let's, let's show them what we made again. Hold on. Okay. So I should hold it up again. Yeah. Who, who wants to see this? Who wants to see this? Who did, did you say somebody wanted to see it? Jeff Metzger just arrived, so I thought we would show him what we made. Oh, we both made that. We made our parmesan. I forgot. It also put some fresh basil on it. There you if go. You want. Yeah. Garnish with fresh basil. Hey, Laura McCormick. Wow, we're coast to coast kids. And I'm trying to make this public and it won't let me go. Ech, I hate it. Ech. How do you do that? Ech. Wait, where did it go? Whoop, where did it go? Whoop, where did it go? Nope. It's not there. It's not there. It's not there. This is very strange. Please don't make me have another challenge. Oh boy. Yeah, I know everything has gotten very crazy. I'm editing the privacy. It's public. That's done. I'm editing the post. Yes, if you would like to support the show, here are some ways of doing it, and I will post it right here. And I will post it in the comments section. There you go. Patreon, Zelle, PayPal, and what's the other one? Venmo. Venmo, yes. Let's get my Venmo up. Ooh, ooh. $11.11 .11 a month. I think that's a great, great deal. Yeah, some fresh basil. I had basil, everything in my uh, breadcrumbs. I'm so excited for brunch today. Good, good. You'll enjoy it. 
I really, uh, the flavor was good. I put in a little bit of crushed red pepper, I told you, because that, like I said, it gave a little pizzazz, if you like it, a little on the, instead of blah, a little kick to it, you know. I have a little kick. Always have to have Papa's little bottle of crushed red pepper on the table. Yeah. Yeah, got to have that little bit, bit of cook uh, kick. And I like that it was cooked into the sauce instead of, you know, sprinkle. Because I don't like to bite into those. Uh, those. Yeah, yeah. So anyway, the rest of my day, um, I am supposed to take it easy. And I have a ton of paperwork laying all over the place. I got to clean up. I'm sick of paperwork. Did they show up? Did the new people for the house show up? Uh, they came for the second uh, tour uh, last, um, what day was it? Uh, I think it was Friday. So they haven't heard anything. They flew back wherever they flew from and they're gone already. So yeah, so that's about it. That's all I got for today. And um, well, do you have a letter for me? Oh, okay. Let's do um, how about um, hmm. how about V? V. I'm thinking like vivacious. You don't have to tell me the words, but thank you. You want to sing? Why don't you sing one and then I'll sing one? Sing one. What? You're thinking your words, so go for, go for it with your words, and then I'll do mine. What am I supposed to say? You were gonna tell me words, so you've got them in your head already. Let's hear it, girly. It's just one word. Oh, come my God. on. Oh God, let me think. Okay, um, I have such a terrible voice today. Okay. Um, okay. Thank you, Jenna, for putting me on your show. It's so much fun that I always look forward to go wherever it takes us. Who knows? But I think it's just great. So I want you to have a vivacious heart. That's the word I was thinking of. You fill in the rest. <laughs> Your vivacious heart with you. And I love you, Patty, too. And I love the way we go everywhere. It's on the show. And I thank you very much for bringing this recipe to us. Thank you very much for making it a reality today. And thank you very much for being here all the time. Patty Loman, William D, and Mama Grace, you make me rhyme. Oh, let's say, stay safe, stay healthy, and be real nice. And everybody come on back once or twice. Share the show, make it go, and have very thoughts, variety of words, and always, always a velvet heart. Thank you, Patty. Welcome, you guys will be back with acupuncturist hypnotherapist extraordinaire dr andrew rader this evening see you later patty love heart everybody real